Los Angeles. Hey, LA. Dominique just picked me up from LAX like a true friend. Anytime. We are going to get lunch with our friends. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? You made it seem like, like, <laughs> like you made it up. You know what I mean? Like, oh. no, we're gonna get lunch with like, no, like our, I promise. Our friends. Yeah, like we have friends. I promise. <laughs> I'm here for the weekend. I was just gonna come up for like Monday, Tuesday, because I'm in studio. But I, uh, Ryan got off, so I came earlier to hang. I slept three hours last night, and I didn't sleep at all on the plane. So wish you best. What? <laughs> wish, wish me luck. <laughs> Wait, wish you best. Um, I got. 15 minutes of REM sleep, so I'll be going to bed early. Just got three drinks. This is the best pizza ever. Job is kicked off Tinder, and the founder, or one of the founders of Tinder is sitting like two like tables away from us. So we're gonna have her go get her account back. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can make slight mention of it. Just a nice hello. How are you? By the way, your app, if you don't mind, I did have a quick question. <laughs> We're making it to Chacha Matcha for my nitro latte. They're making me be rule followers. You realize the crosswalk is barely away. So cute. You don't understand the significance of this drink, guys, because this drink is never, like, it's never working. It's like the McDonald's, like, ice cream thing. It's the nitro matcha latte. It's really good. Good morning, guys, from Los Angeles. It is seven something, and Dominique and I are both up. Dom has recently become a morning person. And I keep forgetting. How do you like your life as a morning person? I like it. It's a Saturday. I walked in here tiptoeing. And Dom's house is like, why? Well, it's like older. It's like what I want in my nice house. Well, I guess I haven't said that yet, but I kind of traveled. I haven't told them about the house fully yet. We'll talk about that in the next vlog. But the one issue with it is that every step you take, it makes a noise. And then I feel like I'm waking everyone up. But she was already awake. So don't even worry. I started a new book called to love jason thorne the night before i left at like 11 and i slept like three hours it was horrible and i couldn't whatever and i would have read the entire thing in one sitting but i um made myself go to bed even though i couldn't fall asleep and i kept reading it and i finished it before my flight even took off the next morning it is so good like very like steamy romance very like um like smut or whatever they call it what does that even stand for by the way do you know Okay, thank you. Anyway, it's so good. And there's a second book in the series. So I started that last night at like 8, 8, 8 p.m. And I went to bed. But it's Saturday. I'm going to try out a new workout, the heated room. And I'm going to Blue Bottle with this friend. And then I'm going to come back and change. And then I need to go to Beverly Hills. Um, I'm going to get a blowout. I'm going to... Um, I need to stop with Jennifer Fisher. It's like a whole thing, you know? But anyways, whenever I come to LA, I just... When I vlog, I like forget to talk to the camera. I just film like... I don't know, whatever. I've also brought my Prada slides back that Dom said were really ugly, but I bought them anyway, so. I brought them here to Spire. When I, I bought them when I was in New York with Preston and I FaceTimed you and he said, no, don't buy those. And Dom's new thing, it's like she gaslights me like crazy. I was like, I promise you she said that. Anyways, hope you guys are having a great day. I'm thrilled over the moon. I'm back at Dom's. I just showered and changed. I'm going to Beverly Hills. I did a little bit of shopping this morning. Dom's at coffee with a friend right now. And then I'm going to get a blowout. And then I think we're probably, I'm at least getting lunch with staff. I don't know the exact plans. The heated room class was really good. It's easier than hot Pilates. If you've done hot Pilates and you hated it, the heated room, yeah, I just feel like heated yoga for the most part of all the classes that I've taken is typically a little bit easier than hot Pilates. Um, but it was really good. It wasn't that hot either. I liked it. It was a good like weekend class. I also did a little bit of makeup, which I haven't put makeup on in like a week. Um, and I'm gonna regret it because they're gonna get my face wet with the blowout, but I brought some stuff, which I never do. I'm coming prepared, if you will. So this is my look. Top is skims, bottoms are, I think they're Aritzia, what are they? Yeah, they're TNA, they're Aritzia. And then I'm just wearing, oh my God. And then I'm just wearing New Balances. 
I can't decide if I want to bring my I feel like I don't really want to bring these even though I do want to listen to something I'm only gonna be by myself like an hour I don't need them I don't want to carry them um and then my sunglasses which are Versace which I somehow messed up in Europe how do I fix this like I don't even know so anyways this is my look got some new earrings not the ones I expected to buy um, they're cute though, I like them. These are my favorite hoops ever. I wear Jennifer Fisher hoops every single day. Just got a smoothie from Creation, the yellow diamond. It is my favorite smoothie ever. I haven't had it in so long, but it is so good. This met up with Dom. <laughs> It's not, do I look slayed? Like, yeah, you look slayed. I guess the guy that she went on a date with is in the restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> I think, wait, hold on. Oh. Like, you look like a grandma. Like, I can't, like, serve time. Like, you can't. Okay, okay. Wait, okay. is this better? Like, no, this is better. Why would you put more clothing on? Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go. We'll keep you guys. So we sat down and we're like literally directly in front of him. And I've never seen Dom so stressed ever. I told her we could leave 15 times. You, yeah, you look slain. Hey guys, yeah, so um, it's time to like return this car. We look right just behind me in the kitchen. And I literally have this one so I'm shaking and I know. I've never seen her this stressed. This is worse than you when you used to get nervous or like you're on a crush. When you were no, like 20? Like, I would like, never, and like I always would be like, oh my gosh, I like never run into anyone I've like gone on a date with. Like, but speak for like, yourself. It's like literally like my flex. I'm like, oh yeah, I like never run into anyone that I've gone on a date with. He's literally the chef. <laughs> and, oh, he's like the chef. And it's like, open kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, by the way. It's open kitchen, so like. Just Hopefully he doesn't poison my food. I hope he doesn't get our food our food orders yeah. confused. Make sure you get something that like is very different and I'll make it very obvious that that's your food versus my food because I don't want to get poisoned. If you get poisoned, that is not on me. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> Guys, I just asked Dom what percentage her phone is at. She goes, oh, let me check. She goes, 152. Thank you. She's so nervous. Oh, she's so nervous. 152? So, and that means you guys just don't go on dates because they're actually really bad for you. Um, don't, don't have one night stands. So that actually, like, they were onto something with that rule. And yeah, just like, honestly, at the end of the day, like when it's all said and done, when you really get down to the point, um, yeah. 152. Like, <laughs> <laughs> talking because she's so nervous. She sounds like one of those people who's like trying to make like a motivational podcast that like isn't. When, at the end of the day, when it all comes down to it, you know, you just have to know. And when you know, you know. When it's all said and done, you're shaken down. Yeah. When it's all said and done, you're shaken down, and we really like conceptualize what we're talking about, then mm -hmm. I think like. That's it. Yeah. Also, by the way, we've got a great vlog. Do I want this good vlog so you just have to know what to ask for? I'm so excited. There's an R Place pop up on Melrose. <gasps> so beautiful. This is amazing. <gasps> Wait, even these. This is just actually oh, yeah. amazing. The road guy, the road guy. I love everything. It's been a really wild turn <laughs> Um, I was, it's 10 p.m., which is midnight my time. I see, I don't want the black on black because it like, really washes me out. And then we'll do my makeup. Um, somehow Dom got me to come out. Me? I literally did not even, I said, <laughs> I literally, Kenzie was like, I can't, like, I'm exhausted, and I was like, I do really want you to come out, but I'm not going to force you to come out, and then I was like, all right, well, bye, <laughs> and Kenzie was like, wait, I think I have energy. Yeah, something just happened, it's weird I, like, haven't been sleeping well or, like, been able to sleep lately, so anyways, yeah, I don't know, something, something changed in me, I was laying on the couch, they were watching TV, I watched a little bit of it, and... All of a sudden, we're going. 
which I was planning on going earlier, but anyways, Dom, how was your day? How are you feeling since lunch? I like can't even describe mm -hmm. like what that like borderline like panic attack, fucking anxiety attack, just straight up like my nervous system was like under attack like I literally kept trying to be like think of like coherent facts or thoughts like name five things you see like name five things you can touch like whatever and I like couldn't like I was like shutting down it was so bad for everyone by the way because we posted this and everyone commented yes it is the guy from that she talked about on what we said and okay says oh my god you're like really going on like a world tour because every <laughs> no because every show that i will the show they all want stories they yeah. literally just keep asking what's the last date you went on yeah and um, don't stop going on dates so i literally haven't gone on a date since that and so i'm like that ruined it for you it didn't ruin it for me i just it was like after that i was just like i'm just exhausted i went on like literally so many dates like i should have done the 2022 recap like date thing oh okay, you still can just like my last year of dating my last year of dating like you bitches will literally be so shook up because it was just too many people like i don't like that i sometimes like i don't like that i can't remember all the people i went on a date with yeah i can't relate in my lifetime, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, I guess. Like, I just don't like that. Like, even people where I'm like, oh my gosh, I guess, yeah, we did go on a date. And I, I can't even remember some of their names. Like, I don't like that. I don't like that I can't remember people's names. Like, that's crazy. I guess. It's all crazy, but. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of wild. I just, like, don't want to be person who like can't remember things i'm like this isn't good yeah no i mean not remembering names yeah that sucks especially when you're like, well i would care more if it's like someone that i just met of course but i'm like bro i don't care about these i'm like well in my mind too if i don't like if it doesn't work out with someone in my mind i'm like i'll never see you again like this <laughs> this this town's not big enough for the both of us it's crazy because like i run into any ex that i've ever had for like the rest of my life actually the not in the past dude i have not for people that i've dated well actually that's not true either i haven't ran into a freaking soul this is the first time this has ever happened to me and i was like it's shook the shook up like the shake like the shake up shake down babe like it was not good. Kenzie was gonna have to like literally put me. Because I've like never seen her like that, and I've seen Dom in like every single emotional state that you could possibly see someone in, in the extremes. And I have never. You don't like get nervous. That's. You I get like so if I do get nervous, I can still. You like, get like bashful. Yeah, but I don't get like. You don't get like uh, like I can't operate. I literally like, couldn't even like look. Like I was just like, oh my god, like what? Yeah. This happening. This is so bad. This is so pretty bad. So bad. But, but nevertheless, she persisted. She persisted, and we're persisting on to tonight. Yeah. So, anyways, I'll probably talk to you guys tomorrow. Wish me, wish me luck. Good morning, guys. We're at Creation. Got the yellow diamond smoothie again. Waiting on our food. I have a workout class in like ten minutes. And Dominique drove me. So kind of her. We're getting the same breakfast. Mm. This is my favorite smoothie. Do you like it? Yeah. I used to do these all the time. Mmm. Mm-hmm. No. Okay, Dom just said, oh yeah, it's healthy. It's healthy, like it's- I it's, think it tastes good. No, it's good, it's a smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a smoothie. <laughs> it's, no? it's good, guys. Hi guys, happy Sunday. Hello. Dom and I are on our way to get some coffee. I worked out this morning. We went to Creation. I'm going to John and Benny's tonight. It's a whole thing. Um, I got back from my workout, and did you notice that I showered and got ready in like five minutes? Yeah. It's pretty quick. Um, this is what I'm wearing. Nothing too special. Slay. I'm really tired. I haven't had coffee all day, and it's like 2 p.m. I was so. literally just thinking that. Yeah, I kept yawning in my workout class, and the teacher kept talking about it, and I was like, Hi. She said she yawns too. So, 
because it's heated. You can't get like a, it's 100 degrees in there. You can't really get like a full breath out. I just it's hard like, to breathe. I just can't. You know? Like that made me like feel super, like right now. I just felt the heat on my face. <laughs> it just like ruined your day. <laughs> yeah, like, ooh, it drained me thinking about it. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. It is 8 a.m. I'm about to get my hair dry styled at Dry Bar, which I know is so annoying because I was there two days ago. But I messed it up in like a heated workout and I'm recording like six episodes. Today we are recording with Mari, Peyton, Dom, and Maddie. So I have, I think, like actually five recordings because two of those are swaps. I'm just packing my pack um, and then we're gonna go. I do have a nice break in between, which I normally don't have breaks in between, so it'll be nice to like get food and you know, not like die throughout the day so i'm just wearing a really casual outfit today's gonna be a chill day pretty much all the recordings are like kind of chill but yeah i'm gonna go and like finish up my episode prep i have my episodes prepped but like just like look over it while i'm getting my hair done it's gonna be a good day back to dear media i haven't been to the la studio in a few months so it's always good to go Dom is such a diva when she's in the studio. It's crazy. I actually did wear pink for you because I was going to wear my orange sweater and then I was like, I'll have the orange soda. <laughs> yeah, actually, I almost um, wore that sweater today. Actually, I do have a story I could tell. Oh in the God. podcast? I was, we'll start off think, with I was that. trying to think of a story. You don't nothing, have a, No, because you've been in a healthy, happened. stable relationship for like six years now. No, so I honestly, know. it's crazy. Like, I'm even like Seven years. Seven, years. Seven at, well, yeah, actually. Seven. Yeah. In two weeks. That's so wild. Isn't that so insane? So yeah. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. Good morning, y'all. It is like 6:30. I'm about to go to work out. I'm wearing this year in our set. Hoka's. I'm going to evolve with Maddie. Last night after the studio, I just came home and like laid around in red. Today, I have three more recordings, and then after that, we have dinner with JC, I think. And then um, we're hanging out with Ryan, and then tomorrow, I'm not really working, and then I go home. So, it's gonna be a pretty easy day. Just so excited to go work out. I really need to. I'm also wearing my set active set. I love these like one shoulder sports bras from them, like the Sculpt Flex, I think, material or whatever. They weirdly are so supportive. Like I wear them in cardio. It's really wild. But anyways, set is your bars. I'm ready to go. Going to Alfred, just left Pivolf. Great workout. Okay guys, now I'm heading off to the studio. I'm getting my stuff together. I'm bringing my puff bag as like my work bag with my headphones. Oh, I forgot I got orange juice at Alfred. What a nice surprise. Um, my laptop, all that stuff, my bag. I'm gonna bring a hoodie because I'm cold. I'm only doing three recordings today. So I will be in and out so quickly and only two are for my show, which is, it's easier to guess on someone's show, obviously. So I'm about to go, I'm wearing a Skims dress. So cute. And my Prada loafers. And that's it. Hey besties, we're back. Ryan's here. Ryan and I are having a nice sleepover and Dom, but obviously this is Dom's house. This couch is all time. Well, you know this is new too. This oh, is, we should have Dom do an this, HGTV tour. This is tour. a top ranking couch. This, this is, is where we're going When I think back on all of the couches that I've sat on, mm -hmm. this is top ranking. Sure. Wow, I wonder where it's Would originally you agree? from. It is a very nice couch. Let me give you guys it's a little. It's one, right? Yes. Spacious, comfortable. It's tech. It's got a nice texture to it. What more could you ask for? Truly, and this over here. I mean, that's that's truly the best. I'm wearing Dom's hoodie, my jeans, and my Prada loafers. What do you guys think of these shoes? Personally, I love. Dom doesn't. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. But we're gonna go to the Great Whites. Wait. Great Second way. time in four days. Yeah, and I'm probably gonna do the exact same thing. They have this like salmon pizza that is unbelievable. People ask me what my LA Rex are all the time, and like I 
don't have Rex because I go to the same four places. Our New York friends would say it's to die for. Yeah. Truly. It's so good though. Like, oh my god. We're meeting up with JC and Ty Tyson, if you will. French. Um and yeah, I'm really excited. We're doing a little bestie date. I'm so excited for you guys to meet Ty. He's the funniest person I've ever met in my entire life. Like there's just no one who besides you and Dal, of course. My two funniest friends. Uh, besides them, he's like number three, you know? Guys, it's bring your besties to dinner night. How cute! Oh, oh yeah. I was not paid to no. say this. I'm an Oakland ambassador. No, actually, $100. everywhere we went tonight, this was her. She's like, oh, by the way. No, 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 because I'm not just saying this. Everywhere I go with this bag, someone stops me. Does that happen when you're wearing it? Yeah. Like, every single I love the attention when it happens, you know? It's like, where'd you get that bag? Like, how Stunning. much was it? And I literally, like, give them a spiel. I have it memorized. <laughs> it was Let me know amazing. if you want it. A vlog. I can't you. Yeah, it's the best. And we just went to dinner. It was great. Yeah, it was we fun. didn't go the great way, but whatever. Dom is dancing. Brian has been dancing like this for an hour outside. Well, I'm just confused as to why Dom wouldn't go to her. I'm honestly really surprised about that. Just go. She said she'd do a dance like workout. Just a little. A oh, oh, we got some. Oh, like, just something like right here. Right? I mean, what happened in the quintessential Beverly Hills morning? It doesn't get the perfect, the streets are perfectly lined with palm trees this morning. There's not a cloud in the sky. Yeah, it is um, beautiful. We're doing Ryan's morning routine. So we're going to work out. We're going to Whole Foods first. I haven't been to this Whole Foods since like Connect Group. This is a good one. Isn't that crazy? It's not the best. I like it because it's older. It's like cozy. Yeah, it's, it is. Yeah, it's got a real neighborhood feel to mm -hmm. it. You it brings me back melody. to like drama in college. Like I can think of like three things that happen here. <laughs> well, that makes me need to hear Vermont tonight. Just got some tea. We're people watching on South Beverly. It's a great day. And Ryan's new outfit, we haven't even talked about it on the vlog yet. It's a good outfit. Guys, we're gonna make Ryan a TikTok star. Everyone, please go follow Ryan's TikTok. It's really something. Uh, we're, we're gonna be both ticking and, and talking. Ticking talkin'. yeah. and talking. We made it to John and Benny's. Our workout went great. I yeah. love the Equinox. Surprisingly, I slept like a dick uh, last night. I just felt, I slept fine. What, what would you think your issue was? I think I was just sensitive to the space, you know, so I, uh, I was, yeah, I was just, uh, I was halfway there, I was living on a prayer. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Well, we're at John and Vinny's, we're getting breakfast. What did you do this morning, Ken? What did we do? We woke gym? up at 6 a.m. Oh, at the gym? Mm -hmm. Oh, I, well, I told you I was going to half-ass it, I said. I'm, I did, maybe, I did, like, I don't think between, did. like, an 8 to a 10 incline for, like, 30 minutes. Like whatever, and then I like kind of did weights. We stretched a lot. Ryan likes to stretch. You know what's crazy about us? I don't even like when I'm in like the workout class at the end and they stretch. I'm That's like, so it funny is to me. Over with. You didn't have fast at all. I mean, I could have given a lot more. You did more cardio. You did 30 minutes of cardio. You stretched. You did some shoulders. You did some. It's lifting. just crazy because these days I'm just so strong from weightlifting. I'm literally a bodybuilder. So I think that like anything yeah, feels same. lesser, you know? Yeah. Being a bodybuilder. Somebody called me Arnold the other day. Oh, no yeah, way. Arnold, yeah, Shit, what a compliment. That's crazy. Yeah, I know. Wow. Yeah. I love our little Beverly Hills morning. This is the only part of Los Angeles that I'm... Did you enjoy I feel the aligned with it. this morning? Oh, I love the walkthrough. You know, I was here the other day. You know, the dry bar and Jennifer Fisher right next door, next door neighbors. They, they were thinking of me. It's underrated. Do you, don't you think so? This neighborhood. Yeah. People sleep I mean, on Beverly, Beverly Hills. Hills is underrated. I think people. No, sleep, actually, people think of it as like extravagant, flamboyant, yeah, and luxurious, think, but it has small town charm to it. There's a quaintness to it that people like. If you you don't see that in the movies. No. Like I like the quaintness part of it. I don't care about like Rodeo. Yeah. Like I care about. But like small town. 
Today we're having some breakfast, uh, making some TikToks, doing a TikTok challenge, uh, working on Ryan's future career in the digital yeah. space. So you're gonna have to it's true. Yeah. So we got some good TikToks through it. Right. We're having a meeting. We'll see what happens. What's happening? How many times have I have you thought that we were just gonna hang out and I've cornered you into like office meeting? <laughs> It's a regular endeavor. A good amount. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> I do this to everyone. So, anyways, by the way, my hoodie, it's Dom's, but it's about happy. Very cute. This breakfast is beautiful. All right, guys. The LA trip is coming to an end. Dom has been working today. So, I spent the morning, well, Ryan had a day off. So, I spent time with him. It's like almost 2 p.m. I'm about to head back to Texas. Tomorrow night, we have the Valentine's thing. I work out in the morning. Just got to get back in the zone if you will this was a great trip it's just like bizarre to me that i ever lived here i know it's like very weird and like when i come back it's like nostalgic just because i love like my certain friends here but it is very wild to me that i ever lived here like i just feel like it is so not me it's very very weird i don't know how to describe it other than it just feels like it is so not me um but i had a great time and i am ready to be home. I'm always ready to be back in Texas, honestly. So I'm packing up my stuff. By the way, this Luca, I'm, I actually probably will use my puff bag, but yeah, actually I switched that. Anyways, this Luca duffel is the best carry-on. I will link it below. It is just so good, but I'm trying to get as much in here as possible. I just want like an easy chill. Like the last thing I want to do right now is get on a plane, but it is what it is. So anyways, that was my LA trip and then we'll resume when we're back in Texas. Good morning from Texas, guys. I'm home, I have my coffee, I'm about to go into hot Pilates. I got back last night and I read and I went to bed and now I'm in this new, guys, it's so cute. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you guys have seen it. This new set from Outdoor Voices, I think it's like their seamless collection. I will link it because it's amazing. It's also one shoulder. One thing about me, I love a one shoulder sports bra. So, anyways, going in, I've been, like, really, I mean, I'm always in my workout grind, but, like, really, like, looking forward to it every day, which is the best feeling, and I'm just, I'm so excited, truly. I'm back from Pilates. I changed. I'm running errands. I'm getting a blowout. I have so much to do, because tonight is our Dallas Galentine's party, so we have a lot of girls coming. Some of the alcohol is being delivered like super last minute, so I might just go pick some up. I don't know, I'm gonna work from the chair, but I need to get my car washed desperately. I had to pick up dry cleaning. I just have a lot happening. And I need to sub Myron Crosby because I need to go get a gift because I have a nephew being born next week and Sophie becomes a big sister. So I'm gonna get them like matching little cowboy boots that will be cute and just like stuff to make it like special and sentimental like outside of that. So. Anyways, doing that and then I'm gonna come back, get ready, and then eventually I'm going to go to the space early um, to help set up, obviously. So, here we go. I just hit like peak adulthood. Well, first things first, I think I've forgotten to vlog completely. I went and got a blowout. My hair looks amazing. I go to Erica. I do have a dry bar membership um, and I get two dry blowouts there a month. And then I also go to Erica. Erica is actually my favorite blowouts. They're better pricing and just the best blowouts in general. But um, I just get blowouts like too often to uh, you know ruin her schedule like that. So anyways, just for myself, you guys can go. Um, anyways, if you go to Erica and you mention my name, you get money off. She does everything but like a really good blowout and it is the best price that I have in Dallas, and I love her. It's the Lefty Stylist on Instagram. I tag her on my Instagrams and TikToks and stuff. But anyways, I reached peak adulthood today because I dry cleaned my bedding, okay? And I was supposed to pick this up last week, and I totally forgot until today. So I'm going to... Oh, Coco, you look so cute. I'm going to actually put my bedding on because I feel like I'm... Like, right now, you know when you're, like, in college and you don't have, like, real adult bedding? And then... Like, anytime my bed is messed up, it makes me feel like I'm in college again, and that's just, like, not a good feeling, so. One sec, BRB also, look at how cute she looks. Hi, bestie. It's my best girly. I just love her so much. Coco, I just love you. She's not 
interested in me. But guys, look at how beautiful she's looking. What a cute little haircut. Don't you guys like her hair like this? <laughs> oh my god, guys. She looks stunning. <gasps> Coco, you look incredible. Uh, keep it up, girly. I could literally just stare at her for like years. Okay, so it's looked better, but I'm in the middle of a bunch of stuff and I can't really fluff it all and I'm sitting here and, you know, whatever. But at least I have my bedding back. I think I'm gonna wear this tonight. It's Galentine's attire. So this, like, jeans, pink heels, Probably my pink like Saint Laurent bag that I got. And then a pink scarf, I'm thinking. So it's gonna be inside, I don't know. I'm honestly hitting a wall. I only drank half my coffee this morning so I need to go make another coffee, unbox some stuff, get things together. I'm gonna start getting ready in like an hour. Gotta pick up some things. Um, Spritz came through like super last minute. I'm so excited. Spritz is actually really doing great in Texas. There are H-E-B specs like so many places. So if y'all are in Texas, be sure to go check them out. But they're giving us like, I think it's like 100, 150 cans. So we're gonna have so much spritz for tonight. Oh my God. Okay, hi guys. I am back. I am dressed. I'm wearing these like silk pants from Daily Drills. I got them in a size, well, okay. I should have steamed them. But my steamer is, I think it's just this car for the kind stuff. I'm not steaming them, who am I kidding? You guys should. Anyways, these pants are daily drills and I got them in a size medium. I would have gotten them in a size small. I don't even think that these are available anymore though, so never mind everything that I said. But if they are, size down, because they're oversized. Um, I have this sweater that I got at Zara months ago and I haven't worn yet, because you know, like all my closet is pink and I really needed to stop buying pink, but I just continue to do so. I actually don't need to stop buying pink, it's just, my favorite color to wear. Then I have, you guessed it, pink heels. These are Sam Edelman. Um, I have my scarf. I'll probably wear a coat. I can't decide because I just don't know if I feel like lugging that around. And then I am wearing my new bag. If you guys watched the London vlogs or the vlog after that, you would know that I bought this brand new, left it in London, and it made its way back to me. So this is my lucky girl syndrome bag. We're gonna pack my bag. I'm gonna go pick up um, some food, son of, a, son of a butcher is catering for the event. And um, Ben Soffer came in last minute and basically saved our asses and gave us like 150 can of spritz. So my life I owe to this man today because some of our alcohol that was being delivered got lost in the mail. Anyways, and I'm gonna pick us up dinner at Sweet Green. The event starts in three hours. So I am going to order that and we are going to head off. All right guys, we're here. The event is starting. I'm really hot. I really should have, I should have worn something tight on top but I was just not feeling it today. Oh, yeah, can't put It's just, well, it's yeah, so because it. Jessica, which we almost wore these jeans, we didn't even buy them together, is wearing her Fendi Skims, what a fashion queen. We've set up the pop-up area. We have so much food. Look at how cute this is looking. So much spritz, guys. Spritz is like all over Texas these days. They're also available at H-E-B now. Um, we have Ranch Riders, which is basically like ranch water. It's very good. And then, son of a butcher. So much food. We have a cheese board. I mean, an Olipop. I'll tag everything below, but amazing. All right, guys, I'm finally home. It is 10.30 and I am socialized out. I am just, I need a nice day. Tomorrow I'm gonna have a nice recharging day and I work out. Okay, that was not necessary. Like I was saying, I'm gonna work out. I'm going to maybe get my nails done. Gonna get a little bit of work done, read. I'm going to the ranch, get dinner with friends. It's gonna be very chill Friday. So hope you guys enjoyed the Zig My Life vlog. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. How do you keep work-life balance with a nine to five? Um, it's not something that comes easy and I think it took me years to actually get it. Your job ends up being such a big part of your life, but it shouldn't be your whole entire life. So you should be able to enjoy it, but also leave and go enjoy what you actually like to do as just a normal human. Um, so morals for me are a big thing.